Hello everyone, Josh here with Exus Games, bringing you guys another Honkai Star Rail video, and this is a big update because the CBT signups are finally here, and with it brought us a beautiful website that gave us a lot of information that I did not expect, including a new teaser video that actually included some gameplay, so I'm very hyped for this, we're going to be showcasing a lot of that stuff here today, so a lot of things are being revealed alongside, of course, the CBT signups. Now, to... Of course, sign up for the closed beta test. It looks like they're going to be using iOS and PC for this test and not Android, which is very, very interesting. Definitely a different route than I'm used to. So if you're not an, uh, if you don't have uh, an iOS or a PC, you may not be able to do the CBT test, unfortunately, or even sign up for it. So I don't know what they're going to be doing with that. But this, you know, this gives us already a big reveal right off the bat that PC is already going to be included for this game. So this game is already going to be following alongside Honkai. Um, and, of course, Genshin Impact with being able to be played on PC, which also makes me assume. Now, of course, it's just an assumption, but that means that we probably will later on probably get this on console as well, perhaps. We'll have to see if they're going to give this game the Genshin Impact treatment. Hopefully they do. I mean, it is MiHoYo. They got a lot of money right now. They can do a lot of crazy things. They can throw a lot of, thing at the, a lot of things at the wall and see what sticks, but... It definitely looks like this game is going in that direction because it's already going to be starting with a CBT test for PC and, of course, on iOS for mobile. I'm sure Android will be coming later on. Maybe they'll do a second CBT test. I don't know. These are all just assumptions right now and speculation. But anyways, so the CBT is available right now. You can click enter sign up. I'll have the link for this in the description below as always. As you can see, I've already completed my survey. You just want to go ahead and sign up. Um, you know, email, password, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, through MiHoYo's um, web applications, and then you go in and do a survey, fill out all the questionnaires, and then you submit it, obviously, and then you just got to wait to see if you're selected, and then it'll give you all that information through your email, like they normally do with any other ordinary CBT test. Now, I don't know if you're a streamer or um, if you do YouTube or anything like that for content creation, if they're going to make you sign an NDA saying that you cannot um upload any of this footage or streaming of this footage during the cbt i don't know if they're doing that yet or not hopefully they don't because i'd love to showcase some of that stuff here on the channel because i'm kind of excited for this game because it has been confirmed it is turn-based by the of course the images that they released here publicly and the ones that i've already seen that were leaked the other day that i already had in the discord and description below you guys can go check that out um but anyway so when you're done doing that you want to definitely take a moment to look through some of the other things on the website because, like I said, a lot of things are kind of revealed here. The first thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and watch the one and a half, two minute clip that they uploaded. I'm just going to kind of let you guys watch it. Um, again, the link for this will be in the description below. We're going to go ahead and put this on mute um, for copyright reasons. Obviously, I don't like to just straight up take an entire other video from somebody else and then use it. Uh, with the audio on, obviously, and I'm going to be doing voiceovers, of course, as we go ahead and look at this and give you uh, my reaction alongside it. So we can see here that even the CGI elements, um, the partial game elements, and even though they said that this is like beta footage, this still looks very, very good. Pretty polished as well. I don't know if it's coming through clear on the video here guys but again you can go check out this video for yourself on their official youtube channel which you can just grab right from the website they have all that information at the top right they have the reddit and all that other good stuff as well so they're going all in on this on this game which is awesome and fun to see you can see some of those in-game animations there and the quality of the character's artwork looks really really good it definitely reminds you of genshin impact um, Genshin Impact is just so fresh in my mind that a lot of things that they do is just going to really, you know, make me remember that more so than Honkai, if that makes sense to some of you. I really like the snow effect, and I like how that transitioned right into a special ability. Look at these specials. These look really, really cool. So I'm digging it. Now, I'm not sure if the game is set up to where you can walk around in kind of like a semi or full open world, and then you transition to like an instance-based, turn-based for the gameplay, like you would in like Pokemon, for example, where you walk around in the wild, but then you get into the fight, and then it goes in a turn-based style. I don't know if that's what they're doing here with this, but that looked really, really good, and I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys and guys are excited as well. This is really, really cool. 
This is something that I just did not expect. It just came out of left field, and I love it because it's turn-based. It's going to have the you know powerhouse of MiHoYo behind it for the production value, for the artwork, the animation, the voice acting, all the character designs, the world building, the lore. It's all going to be there. You know, from traditional Honkai and Genshin Impact, I mean, to, of course, now Star Rail. So, this is good stuff to see, and I hope you guys are excited. Now, let's go down here and check out some of these new characters. Now, again, I am not, I've never really personally followed the lore or all the characters and stuff of Honkai. So I don't know if any of these characters are from Honkai as well, because I believe this is supposed to be a Honkai spinoff. If I'm not mistaken, so if you guys or gals can educate me a little bit in the comment section of some of these characters, if they're new or if they are indeed part of the Honkai verse, let me know. Um, you can see here we can even listen in on the voice actors for both English and Japanese. So we're going to first look at Himiko or Himiko. And we're going to do the English first, just give you guys a little, little clip there of the sound. I think I might have done that twice. Then we're going to go ahead and do Japanese as well. Hopefully that's coming through. Can't tell if the am I clicking it right? I don't know if it's coming through. Hopefully it's coming through, guys. Uh, otherwise, you guys can just go ahead and check this out for yourselves. Oh, you know what? It'd probably help if I actually turn the volume on. There you go. Now we can hear him. So we'll go back here quickly to Himiko. So you guys can hear that sound for JP and again for English. Don't break anything. Okay. Don't go into the engine room. And definitely don't go asking dull questions like, how come this train can travel through the universe? <laughs> All right. I wanted to go. I'm going to listen to Welp. Himiko said that I needed to give you youngsters a chance to spend some time together. Go to JP now. And we're going to go to Dan Hang. Or... Uh, da Hang, or how do you say his name? That's JP. Then get English. Different people will answer different. Okay. Now we're gonna do March seventh. Well, would you listen to that? I caused a bit of trouble and saved everyone. Thank you, March seventh. <laughs> wow, that's a very, very obnoxious sound. I definitely prefer the JP version of March 7th over the English. Okay, let's do uh, Gepard or Japard. JP actor sounds great. Loyalty isn't an inherent virtue of humans. As such, the recipient of that loyalty also... English isn't too bad on him either. Let's go ahead and check out Seal. Frightening. Miners risk their lives on a daily basis for that stuff. Live for Geomero, die for Geomero. I'm getting like Inuyasha feels from that one. Wow, that is like way. That's like two different versions of Seal right there, but they both sound equally great. So I'm actually like, okay, I think they nailed it pretty good. I think on Seal. Um, going to check out now, Clara, the bloody rabbit. So she actually has two voice actors. What I want? Family. Same for the English as well. Obviously, I guess that makes sense. Do not worry. While I am here, they will be your family. That doesn't sound too bad. All right, now let's go ahead and check out Asta. The test samples that I'm currently cultivating on the space station won't steal my dinner, right? No, no. Uchu station de sodatta jikken sample ga. Okay, so there you guys go. So that gives you a little bit of the backstory of the different characters. We should probably just go ahead. I don't know if I can pause those. Okay, I think we got the sound off. So, this now leaves us with some of the in-game images that they've shown us as well. One of them, of course, I'm using for the thumbnail of today's video because it looked really, really cool. But right here. This image right here, the turn-based RPG. Let's go back to it. Engage in thrilling strategic combat. You can see there we have like the, the turn order on the left side. At the bottom, we have the four units that we can use. This gives me Goddess of Genesis feels, but Goddess of Genesis on steroids because Goddess of Genesis was actually a really well put together game. It's just the development team 
or actually probably not even development team, probably more so the publishers, ruined that game by a lot of really shady and greedy tactics, unfortunately, with, especially with the banners and the way they did rewards and stuff like that. So it just kind of went downhill. But the game itself, the gameplay, the, what, the way uh, it was built was actually really well done. This feels like that. It reminds me of that greatly, but on a whole other level. It's like they took that game and just upgraded the visuals, the animations, the UI. You know, it's, they took it to 11, right? So it looks really, really well done. I like that. And then we see here one of the characters is kind of staring off into one of the uh, environments. We see here a special ability being created. It looks like some kind of spell being casted. It looks really phenomenal. I like how the entire surrounding area is all astrology. Like you see, or um, yeah, you see the uh, stars, you see the clouds, you see a lot of different, you know, star alignments and everything like that just being kind of showcased in this special ability. You even see like the universe up there, like you see the different galaxies and stuff forming in the sky. That looks really, really cool. Um, just awesome, awesome stuff there. Really good attention to detail. Um. May this journey lead us starward. I love that phrase. It just sounds really, really cool. It's very simple, and it makes really sense with the whole name being Star Rail. It's really good marketing tactics right there on full display. So that's it for pretty much what they show here on the website. A lot of good stuff, as I said. They're, they they gave away a lot of information with this website that I don't think a lot of people like really are understanding right now because it's like not only did they drop the information just a couple of days ago that, hey, we got a CBT coming. You know, this game was just a rumor over a week ago. Now it's a full-fledged thing. It's going to be in closed beta test. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. And then if all things go well, hopefully a release, at least maybe a soft launch or an open beta soon after, if they don't have to do another beta test, which they may. I don't, I don't know. But it's just crazy how fast everything is moving now. Like, this was literally a rumor. Now it's a full-fledged game. Now it's going to be in beta. And now we have all this information. We have like the little, you know, one minute, two minute clip that shows a lot of cool things here. We're seeing some of these character designs, their voice actors already, some of their bios right there. You guys can read on the, on your own time there. Um, again, the link will be in the description below. And then you see some of these in-game visuals as well that look really good. And this one is really the biggest selling point for me because, you know, this just showcases it is indeed going to be turn-based and it looks freaking awesome. So, guys, that's all the latest information I have for you right now regarding Honkai Star Rail. Sorry about the little mix-up with the characters and the sound. I didn't realize I was muted on that. I do apologize. But it is what it is. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, take notifications, and join us in the Discord in the description below so you guys can keep up with all the latest when it comes to Honkai Star Rail and other games that we cover here on the channel and game-related news. So that's going to be it for me. Again... Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at X's Plays, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And please like the video if you did enjoy, because it really helps out the channel and the, and the YouTube algorithm, which is just a mess right now. Um, so anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.